What if I told you that on multiple different marketplaces on the internet were housing vendors who claim to be selling little wooden boxes that happen to be trapped with an evil spirit or a vicious demon? What if I told you that there were multiple videos on the internet of different YouTubers who claim to have terrifying experiences after stupidly purchasing one of these so-called haunted wooden boxes? Last question, what if I told you I was one of those YouTubers who have claimed to have a scary paranormal experience after buying many of these little wooden boxes? Although I have been buying these Dybbuk boxes throughout the year at random times, I decided to buy another one to make this video and ask these questions. This type of video came to mind after I decided to go on Twitter and ask my audience if they believed in ghosts or not. I knew this was going to be a controversial question, so the options I gave my audience was yes, no, or I don't know. In this presentation, we will be asking the following questions. Where do Dybbuk boxes come from? What was the initial purpose of them? And most importantly, are Dybbuk boxes really haunted? Throughout the video, we will look at the process of opening opening one of these boxes from setting up the area where we're opening the box, breaking the wax seal, and seeing exactly what happens when we open one of these boxes. But first, before we do that, we must first ask the questions to the ones that have no clue what's to come in tonight's presentation. Let's get started with question number one. What exactly is a Dybbuk box? A Dybbuk box is a wine box which is said to be haunted by a restless, usually very malicious spirit, believed to be able to haunt and even possess the living. This box gained notoriety when it was auctioned off on eBay or in my case, in multiple mystery boxes purchased off the dark web, said to be coincided with a very compelling horror story. Next question. Where do they come from and what is the purpose of a Dybbuk box? First off, a soul-latching demon is called a Dybbuk. Before the creation of medicine as we know it today, it was thought that certain mental illnesses in the past were caused by demonic spirits taking control of a person's body. In Jewish storytelling, these spirits were often called Dybbuks. They came through with the intentions and the domain of evil. The afflicted person would not be considered cured until they had taken part of an exorcism, having the demon be sent back to where they came from because one of the greatest dangers to us is when an angry Dybbuk latches itself onto our soul. Jewish folklore is full of of stories about demonic beings clinging themselves onto the living. Demons themselves often took the shape of cats or black dogs. Most of the times, they attached themselves to the lost or forgotten souls who, for one reason or another, had not been able to successfully gone through transmigration. Transmigration means the passage of one soul after death into another person's body. The demon would then guide the lost soul into the body of another living person. This gave the demon purpose. It gave him a place to reside and the opportunity to take control of somebody's possessed body. Surprisingly, the person the Dybbuk would affect was most often a woman. The image of a Dybbuk was usually believed to be a male and possessing her body is an illustration of the attraction of opposites, male and female, living and dead, pure and impure, all fused together in one unfortunate human body. Exercising a Dybbuk demon and removing all of the evil forces from a pure soul is not just an important job to save the person who has been possessed, but is a battle in a cosmic war between the living and the dead. The ones conducting the exorcism would have to address the Dybbuk directly, listing all of the offenses that the soul has committed during its invasion of human life, with the Dybbuk being fully aware of the trouble that it was in. It was very important that the exorcist displayed no fear and it was also crucial for the spirit to be warned with threats against entering into anybody else. Of course, in recent times, we talk about one state of mental health but not the possession of dibbics or demons. But in the old days, possession by spirits was a common way of explaining behaviors that could not otherwise be understood by anyone. It was so common that even those who were not just mentally ill but just pulling themselves away from being social were frequently considered to be possessed. Women that were believed to be possessed by dibbics didn't do any better in the Christian and Catholic society where they would often be condemned as witches. It is no coincidence that between the 16th and 18th century, when fear of Dybbuk's was at an all-time high, the Catholic Church allegedly burned to death between 300,000 and 900,000 men and women who were accused of being witches. But in reality, their body must have just been controlled by a Dybbuk. The whole purpose of the Dybbuk box in general is to simply have a safe space to store all these devious spirits as they continue to reside away from humanity for as long as they remain closed and sealed. Usually, it is candle wax that is used to create the seal to prevent the deviant spirit from escaping. I'm personally not sure why the candle wax color is usually red, but when doing any lookup for what a Dybbuk box looks like, 10 times out of 10, the wax on the little wine box 
is going to be red. It was said that these boxes were to be kept by some very responsible individuals and many to be hidden away for as long as possible. However, some individuals were not so responsible in which they decided to open the Dybbuk box when clearly instructed not to. And some of the ones that have been buried away from prying eyes have been found by curious individuals. However, it is very, very, very rare to come across a real wine box containing a cursed Dybbuk. On this channel, however, we've had some Dybbuk boxes that caused the hairs on the back of my neck to stand up and scared me pretty damn badly. The Dybbuk box even scared my Siberian Husky and sent him running into his crate in fear of whatever the hell happened when I opened that little box. Even though I've been scared by these little things in the past, we can't forget the ones that had nothing paranormal ever happen on camera. My dog was a part of most of my videos where I'd open one of these and he would react to some Dybbuk boxes and for others, not so much. It is said that dogs and cats can see some things that we can't see. If you believe that this is true, let me know in the comment sections if you do and please tell me why because I'm still having trouble figuring it all out. By the way, at this point of the video, whether you do or don't believe in ghosts or if you don't know, we can all agree that the like button looks a lot better when it's blue. So go ahead and hit that like button to help this video out with the YouTube algorithm. It literally takes half a second if you got good reflexes. If this video hits the most likes I've ever had, then I'll release the video that I had on private for such a long time. It's one of the scariest videos I've ever recorded. You will 100% be notified for this video once it goes public. It could take one day, it could take one week, it could take one year, but I'll see you when the time comes. Whenever a large group of people are told a ghost story, whether it's done in a YouTube video like this video you're watching or directly to someone's family and friends, there's always going to be one or two people who is going to say, oh, ghosts don't exist, ghosts don't exist. In this segment, we'll be taking a look at the ones who are called skeptics and don't usually believe in the presence of a demon in a little wine box. It is easy to say something isn't real when you haven't experienced it for yourself. But if you've never seen it or experienced it, then how would you even know if it's real or not? If you've never seen a mammoth with your own two eyes, does that mean that mammoths have never existed or they don't exist? Thinking like this would be very foolish. Whether it was a group of friends going on a ghost adventure, an unfortunate family moving into a haunted house, or someone being visited by a deceased relative, there are many of people who have claimed to encounter a ghost and stories like this will always continue to come out. The only way to believe it for yourself is unfortunately by having a personal paranormal experience that will get you to change your beliefs. If you've never had a paranormal experience in your life, then when you are asked the question, do you believe in ghosts? The final final answer is technically only allowed to be, I don't know. Saying no to this question would again be very, very foolish. Like I said earlier in the video, I've had a few personal encounters when messing around with items that I shouldn't be messing around with. Most importantly, one of my Dybbuk boxes that I've gotten in the past sent my dog running scared. I usually have my Siberian Husky Stormy in the background of my videos and in one of my Dybbuk box openings near the end of this video, he literally took off as fast as he can into his crate. I went downstairs to go check up on him and he wasn't even laying down to go to sleep. He was standing there in utter fear in a position to protect himself in case anything ran at him. I still look back at this video and wonder exactly what the hell is it my dog saw after I opened this Dybbuk box. It was absolutely bone chilling. Because of this particular experience, yes, I do believe in ghosts and Dybbuks. After taking a look at what Dybbuk boxes are, where they come from, the purpose of them, going through the skeptics and my personal thoughts on them, it is finally time to open the Dybbuk box. Brace yourself ladies and gentlemen, this could go either very good or very bad. All right, so we have the Dybbuk box over here. Go ahead and open it. Oh boy. Taking a quick look inside the little Dybbuk box over here. Seems like we have a few things inside here. Oh boy, okay. Um, oh. We have a picture of an old lady. Bruh, she's... That's a freaky looking old woman. Oh boy. Um, on the back of that, it says, Grand Cor. Oh, this is something in Spanish. Yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what this says. I have an absolute no idea, but look at her. 
I don't know, but that's the first item that's inside the Dybbuk box over here. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna be pulling out of the Dybbuk box over here looks like a seashell. We have a little seashell over here. I have no idea what a seashell signifies. I don't know, I have no clue to be honest, but I'm just gonna take the seashell and go ahead and put it to the side over here. Bro, I, I swear it just got so freaking cold in my house. That is really weird. The next thing that we have inside here, it looks like dirt, just regular dirt inside a plastic bag. Oh, there's a rose petal in there. It's like rose petals, dirt. Just a whole bunch of earth inside here. We are halfway through the Dybbuk box and um, we're gonna go ahead. And wow, what is this? Oh, that is old and dusty. That is really freaking old and dusty. Look at this a little bracelet over here. This thing's about to snap. I can hear it just about to pull it snap. Oh, there's hair. Oh my God, bro. There is hair on it. I am literally tugging it by hair. Oh, that's disgusting. That's so gross. Somebody's hair is on this thing. What the f Which door was that? Storm. Stormy. I'm just gonna pretend like that did not just happen. We, okay, um, I don't even wanna open this Dybbuk box anymore. Okay, um, we have a little, oh man. I just wanna finish this, I just wanna finish this. I'm gonna go check out my dog really quickly. I don't know what this is, but this is really, really ashy rock over here. I'm just gonna go check out my dog, I'm sorry. Give me a sec. Sore me. Stormy. Storm. This is so weird. We've got a couple more stuff inside the little Dybbuk over here. Oh, shh. There's a pill inside here. What the? Okay. Oh, shh. And there's hair! Oh my god! Take a look at this over here. We actually have hair. I hope that's not human hair inside here. That's very, very... I'm not gonna touch it. Why am I not wearing gloves right now? Why am I not wearing gloves right now? Okay, I have to show you guys this. Are you guys seeing this? We literally have hair inside this little bag. We also had that little capsule over here. I don't know what capsule this is over here. I'll describe it to you guys. One score on both sides. Really thick. Almost as thick as my finger. This is a really big pill. Uh, I have no idea what it is. I can't identify it. But if you guys can, just let me know in the comment section down below. That is all that is inside the Dybbuk box over here. Absolutely freaky. Absolutely frightening. But if you guys enjoyed that, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more scary content like this. And put on the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload videos like this on the channel. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much. I will see you in the future. And remember to stay off the dark web.